Hi, it's Penny from the Silver and Fit program. In our 30 minute exercise class today, we have balance and flexibility. This should feel like giving your body a massage. And there's so many benefits for resting and restoring our bodies. It's good to do cardio and to do strength training. It's also really good to focus on control from our midsection, range of motion, and deep breath. It's equally as important. So with that, what you'll need is just a clear space to work out, a steady chair, and also a hand towel. Grab some water and we will go ahead and make hopefully make our bodies feel really good. We're gonna start standing. You may notice I don't have my shoes on. Shoes are optional for this class. If you'd like to wear them, please do. If you'd like to not wear them and work all those little muscles in your feet, you are welcome to as well. So we're gonna start standing, knees are soft, belly's tight, we're nice and upright. And we're just gonna inhale, open our chest, and then exhale, bring the hands back to the thighs. Inhale, open your chest, and then exhale, relax back down. Taking those shoulder blades towards our spine, and then releasing. So we're feeling that nice expansion of our chest, lifting our heart center and coming back in. Moving with intention. What feels good for our bodies? As we have space open, allowing ourselves to take that space. Let's do two more. And one more. And then releasing down. And just gently shifting side to side. Massaging out the feet, the hips, feeling that weight shifting. And like you're moving through water. Taking notice of how your entire body feels. What needs to open a little more? Two more with the weight shift. And release. One shoulder at a time, up and back. Leading with the elbow. Focusing on that relaxation down from the ears. And these range of motion exercises are good to sprinkle in to your day. You can do that for 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Very powerful to break up prolonged sitting or screen time. One more in each direction and relax. Shake out your arms, open and close your fingers. Rotate out the wrists. Go the opposite direction. Release the hands down, palms are down. Let's take ear to shoulder, hold it there. Gently bring your head up center, opposite ear to shoulder. Come up center, hands can come right behind your back. Just drop your chin to your chest, feeling the back of the neck open. Slowly bring your head up. Look over one shoulder as far as you can. Bend 
back center, over the other shoulder. And back center, shake it out. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see those knees are soft, hands out. Give someone a big hug, pull your belly in, and then stand really, really tall. Giving that big hug. You can feel your abdominals engage right there. Squeeze your belly. Come up tall. You're flowing through this range of motion. Control through that torso. Two more. One more. And release. Come to the back of your chair. Lightly hold your chair. And we're just going to alternate stepping back and opening up a hip. So we step back, open one hip, and then step back in. Switching sides. We're on the toe, hip pushes forward. Hold it for a second, breathe. And then press in. On the toe, hip pushes forward. And coming in, and we're still thinking about those bellies, right? Hugging the rib cage in, holding that belly button towards the spine. Stepping in. Switching, and you're going at your perfect pace. No one else's. One more on each side. Evening yourself out here. And releasing. Now finding just a little support. Pick up that right leg. Circle out your ankle. Opposite direction, nice and slow. Get the range of motion. And point and flex. Release, switch. Standing nice and tall. Circling out the opposite ankle. Go in the other direction. Noticing if one direction feels a little easier than the other. Point and flex. And release. Taking the feet a little wider than the hips. Softening. Let's just rotate side to side. We're just going to tap the opposite shoulder. Again, nice, gentle rotations, unloading the knee. We're just waking the body up with a lot of different gentle movement. Increasing that range of motion. Now tap a little lower, tap at your hip. Let the arms get really heavy. Shoulders soft. One more in each direction. And then bring it in. Shake everything out. Let's take three deep breaths all the way into the belly. Inhale, reach up to where it feels good. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Again, big breath all the way into that belly. Make a full body stretch. One more, big breath in. And exhale. Roll the shoulders, grab a drink. We're gonna be using the hand towel next. So the hand towel, we're just gonna use it for a focal point as well as a little extra tension. So you'll notice that similar to a resistance band, it's not loose, we got a little pull to it. So we're pulling our right and our left hand apart. We're going to be starting with a figure eight. 
The tail can be closer to your body or away. And we're just gonna move the whole body nice and fluid. If you don't like the tail, you can take your hands and just bring them together. Or if you've got a play ball, you can hold a play ball as well. But right here, you get a range of motion. You may feel that midsection working. See if you can make your motion a little bigger if it feels good. Four more figure eights, crossing right in the middle. And we'll meet back center. Now the feet are going to ground right underneath the hips, knees with the toes. Take your towel in front of your belly button, and we're just gonna twist, twist. And you're slightly pulling that towel apart. Now here's the deal, the hips are staying still. You can take your gaze along with that towel. You can keep it closer in or further out. See what feels good. You're gonna feel all those muscles in your core kicking in. We're getting some nice rotation from the rib cage. You can definitely go slower. Do four, three, two, and one. Release. Place your towel down. You're welcome to use support or not. We are going to be grounding our left leg. Right toe comes out. Let's start with some circles. Circling back. Circling in. Circling. Leg strength. Maybe the hands are out to the sides. Maybe they're crossed. Maybe the hands are going to start to move along with your feet. Opposition. Again, we're picking our own challenge. And each day, that challenge may be a little different. So I've got the opposite arm. Alternating a reach up. Two more. One more. And release it. Step it out wide. Soften the knees and let's do our hula dancer. And that should feel nice. Remember the leg that doesn't move is working. It's doing a lot of stabilizing. Two more. Switch, go the opposite direction. And everybody's range of motion is gonna be a little different. Should feel comfortable and good. Think of the massage. And release, shake it out. Let's grab our towel, we're gonna to do our second round of figure eight. So we can step out a little wider. We pull the towel apart. Just gracefully move that body. We've got a lot of different movements happening here. And we're working through our transverse plane, our rotational plane. So good in life, we do a lot of different rotations. Again, make sure you're turning the hips, unloading your legs. So we're light on those feet. You can think of rowing. 
Definitely feel your arms, your core. We're moving with control intentionally. And with that, you may feel a little heat building in your body. One more in each direction. And come back center. Feet hip width apart, plant those feet. Take the towel in front of your belly button, shoulders are soft. We're gonna go hip to hip. Take your time. Again, we're focusing on that rotation from the rib cage. So the hips, knees, and toes stay forward for this one. We're definitely feeling our midsection kick in. And release in. We're going to be doing the opposite side. I'm just going to move my chair over for a little balance. We're nice and tall, grounding the right leg. And then we're going to have that left foot circle. Again, we're picking as we circle, maybe hovering that support. Maybe crossing. Or taking those hands up. Alternating a reach up as we continue those circles. Taking any part of this, maybe even just the arms. And a lot of focus here. Two more. Combination of opening, feeling those muscles stabilize the joints, and then moving through that range of motion that is just right for us. Pause, go the other direction. and release shake it out it's a really good time to grab a drink of water or to take just a few deep breaths in big exhale we're going to be turning towards the chair for this next series we're going to start this like we did in the warm-up. We're going to step back, push a hip forward, and then come in. Alternating legs. Now we're going to be adding on. We're going to step back. Now take that same arm, open, come in, and step in. So you're opening away from that front knee. The same leg that steps back. It's the arm that's going to open and come in. Strong front leg is driving you in. Stand upright. And again, you're moving at your perfect pace, no one else's. Let's 
breathe deep. Keep that breath nice and calm. Hands could even be on those hips, right? Even yourself out. And then step in. We've got that support right in front of us. Take your left toes behind your right heels for tandem stepping. Zip up your inner thighs, pull your belly in. Squeeze your bottom, stand tall. You got that chair for a little balance. Again, if you're feeling okay, take the hands away. Hands can come to the hips. You can try crossing that right by your armpits. Just hold, breathe. Embrace any shakiness. Release, and we're just gonna switch. So let's take your left foot forward, right foot back. That was a little brain fitness for me. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> Zip everything up, pull the belly in. Find a soft spot to focus on. Take the hands out maybe, or let them hover. There's a lot of strength when we're still. Hands on the hips maybe, or maybe even crossing. Just holding. Noticing your body, feet, legs, torso, all the way up through the head. Every body is having a little different reaction to this. Gently release, step it in. Shake it out. We're gonna grab our towel. Now we're gonna step really wide. So we're towing out, knees out, and we're gonna come down into our legs. Hold right there. So you feel the legs engage. We're gonna take the towel. We're just gonna do some rainbows, side, to side. Now the rainbows could be really small, they could be big. What feels good for your shoulders? Rainbows, and you're just stabilizing through those legs. Two more. Last one. Come center. Step in. Now we can stay with both feet planted. And let's start there. Knees are soft, belly's in. And we're just gonna raise that towel up. And then on the way down, Think of your belly tightening. Raise up and come down. Let's do two more. Getting that range of motion. And again, we may just be raising up. It may feel just good to come up to our shoulders. Or it may feel good for the upper arms to meet the ears. And then come back. Roll the shoulders. Hold your towel. And this is where you're going to decide if you need support or not. We're going to lift up on our toes and then lower down. Lift up, hold balance, and lower down. Lift up, hold balance, and lower down. Two more. Lifting up. One more. Let's see if we can hold it right here. Five, four, 
three, maybe even just feeling a second of that stillness, two, and one, relaxing down, shaking it out. We're gonna go one more set. Legs are the strong stabilizers. We come down and we stay in that squat, belly is nice and tight. Now we're gonna pick our side to side rainbows. Maybe there's smaller rainbows or bigger. You're gonna feel your core working here and your legs. Intentional movement. How graceful can you be? One more. And then release, come on in. Now, we can pick just keeping our feet down, lifting up. Think about those abdominals as you pull the towel apart and come back to your thighs. Another option is we can lift up and then add the heels. Hold, slow down. A third option is we hold that chair, we lift one arm up and down, or we hold that chair right in front of us with both arms. You can feel that balance. Lifting those heels, lowering down. Two more. Subtle pause right there. One more. Control down. Shake it out. Grab some water. We're gonna come and just have a seat. Now bottoms can be fully on the chair. Knees come out and your back again is nice and upright. So hips, shoulders, and ears are aligned. Hands are gonna come on your thighs. We're just gonna start with some circles. Nice and slow. Notice where you feel this. Now the circles can be small, they can be big. This is a real nice one to shut your eyes on. Paw center, circle the opposite direction. Maybe feeling your hips, low back. Again, always coming in. Notice the thing, if it feels good, right? You wanna avoid any discomfort or pain. So you know you're always allowed to make any modifications that you need for you. One more. And come up, walk the feet back in. Everything's nice and lined up or tall. Hands can just come down. Front neck circles. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Nice and slow. There's a spot, it just feels so good. You are welcome to hold it there. Take some breath into that area. Two more. Gently bring your head up. Now we're up tall. We're just gonna lengthen one foot out, point flex, lower down. Squeeze all those muscles around your kneecap, point flex and lower down. Point flex, lower down. 
point flex. One more on each side. And release. Hands can just reach behind you if you can hold that chair, wonderful, or we can just keep the hands by the side of the chair, just open your chest. Take a few deep breaths in, so you're just opening through that heart center. Shoulder blades are coming towards the spine. And gently release. Let's circle out those wrists one more time. Opposite direction. Open and close. Now take your hands on your thighs. Let's take three more deep breaths into the belly. Big breath in. Maybe even an audible exhale. Big breath in. Sometimes it's nice. Audible exhale. Just let something go you don't need to hold on to. One more. We can gaze down or shut your eyes. Just take note how your body feels right now. Do you feel like you've given yourself a massage? Or maybe your energy is more even and calm. Notice your sense of ease in your own body. We're gonna open up our eyes. You can always use that chair to come up, but if you can, hands up. Push through those powerful legs, shake everything out. Tell yourself, awesome job. And again, think about that concept of our sense of ease in our own bodies, right? We want to feel that ease, that calmness, be confident that we can reach up and we can rotate. So increasing that sense of ease goes along with rest and restore. So keep that in mind. Hopefully you did your body good. This is Penny from Silver and Fit. Drink some more water. Until next time.